And so then we, as we move on, we see that there is an opportunity for harmonization of these information exchange packages. And if you look over on the left-hand side, you can see that some of those uh, data objects you know, that are represented by data entities and various elements or attributes of, of, those, uh, of those objects can, can be, be um, composed into the information exchange packages that you all are very familiar with. And, and, and you, this is where you start to even look at the domain of values that attributes may contain. And so you start to bring in, you know, different uh, standard code sets. You know, like in, in our world, it's uh, things like HL7 uh, uh, compliance or maybe uh, compliance with uh, things like uh, international classification of diseases. You know, we've got version 9 and version 10, and so there's an evolution there. Uh, and, uh, you know, we have uh, LOINC codes and on and on and on, various code sets. But this is where you start to identify the value of using those. And I would submit that HHS would be remiss if we did not then take that and, and express that and vet that within the, within the NEEM uh, processes and the, and the NEEM format so that a broader community could use these for greater benefit. And now we don't have the, uh, the ideas where, uh, you know, we've got this siloed set of, of well-intended efforts. So now we're starting to reach out and we're starting to participate as a community in developing this. So, what serves as a foundation for IEPs? What do we think is, uh, you know, kind of drives us? We've got policies and business rules that bind and constrain all of our enterprise processes, activities, et cetera. And our enterprise activities, they typically seek predetermined out, outputs and outcomes. Now, outcomes are, are, are a little bit uh, more challenging because Outcomes may, be, uh, may not be visible immediately. They may be visible over a period of time. But the outputs represented by the information exchange packages are something that we can all converge on. And, and I think that, that we are trying to do that within HHS through our data and IT governance. And uh, we try and reflect this through the use of a, a shared repository of data and information that's basically our enterprise architecture repository. So as you go forward, what does this get you? You know, I, I think I'm, I'm probably speaking to the choir here or preaching to the choir about the opportunities for sharing information through, through the definition of information exchange packages and to share the, uh, the components, the, uh, ent the entities, attributes, uh, uh, standard code sets, things like that, that will allow for, for sharing and will, will allow us to interoperate as a community um, uh, more effectively. And, um, and so you have your semantic interoperability uh, so that the meaning of things is, is, uh, Im is important. That's especially important in, uh, in the healthcare arena and in the medical uh, field because, you know, how you arrived at something uh, sometimes is just as important as the arrival. So there's a, there's a variety of perspectives about, uh, you know, process and the meanings of the, of the end result. And then obviously the syntactical interoperability that, that we all try and seek at a, at a systems level. So as we deal with all of our partners, this, this circle represents all of the operating divisions we call them. You may call them bureaus that make up uh, HHS. But off to the right there on the, in the orange, you can see that we have state governments, local governments, you know, tribal governments, you know, and even private sector that we're, we're starting to interface with. And so the information exchange packages across all of those, those various uh, organizational efforts becomes uh, very important, and it's important to reflect that within the context of community. So within, within HHS, obviously, we have the health community that is the most important. And, and so the health, the health community then, within the context of reforming health care, becomes extremely um, integrated with everything that we do. So we have the vision of, of health care reform, and you have the goals uh, to improve quality, increase access, reduce costs. You know, you've heard all this in the news, but, but 
we need, to, we need to, at an operational level, determine how we will support those goals. And so there may be uh, different nuances to the populations that are served within that healthcare reform context, which is one of the reasons why we have uh, focused areas within HHS like the Administration on Aging and the Indian Health Service. So we have, have populations that we focus on. And then the uh, stakeholders that have to participate in, in all of that. But at the, at the bottom line of all of this, as you uh, pursue the results that are necessary to improve performance, you have collaboration and process. And I would suggest that one of the greatest opportunities for collaboration and, and, and process resides in participation and need. It pulls everybody together within that context of community, and that is one of the most valuable things that we could, we could pursue as a community. So what, what I'm suggesting here is that HHS data architecture become part of a, a larger federal enterprise architecture and that we reflect that within NEEM and, and we look across some of these domains or some of these communities and we, and, and this is, is probably not a shock to anybody here, that we have a, a core set of, of, of uh, information exchanges and attributes, et cetera, that, that we can all use and, and that we can all agree are semantically uh, uh, consistent. And so we need to express this within that, within that national context, and, and I think that NEEM is the way to do that. So what's in it for HHS? And I would suggest you know, what's in it for, for anybody else. Um, I have shamelessly taken a, uh, a meme slide and kind of added some of the HHS perspectives on the, uh, the right-hand side. So faster access to critical information. So what, what might HHS do with that? Well, we've all heard about H1N1, the uh, swine flu. So faster identification of, of positive diagnoses in certain uh, geographical areas or maybe the spread of that within certain demographics of our population might allow us to, to react more effectively uh, to a potential outbreak and everybody who's, who's uh, looked at population health statistics know that the sooner you react, the less effect it has on the broader population, especially in our transient society. Um, and we were just, uh, Henry and I were just talking about the potential for information to identify uh, Medicare fraud. I mean, I know it's a shock to everybody that, that there might be such, but, uh, but there is. And so, so um, the CMS, the Centers for Medicaid and Medicaid Services, is, is actively uh, engaged in, in fighting that. So on, on the, I, I won't read over each one of these, but I think that you can see the picture here where we have various synergies with what NEEM brings to the table. H1N1, the, uh, the 360 uh, degree sharing of information across the federal, state, local, and, and private sector. Wouldn't it be great if we could, uh, if we had a 360 degree um, information exchange where uh, a healthcare provider identified positively a diagnosis of a, a disease in their area, and, and so that was reported up through population health channels, and then that information was, was passed back to another practitioner who, who was, uh, was seeing a patient who presented the same symptoms. And we could say, within your, within your geographic area, this is something you might need to be aware of, and it might accelerate treatment and, and prevention opportunities at the population level. So there's a, there's a, a tremendous amount of, of value in here. And, the, and, and harmonizing how we reflect all of that data is absolutely essential. So, so you can see the, uh, the uh, opportunities here. So what we're doing is we're, uh, we're trying to work with our operating divisions or our bureaus across HHS to, to develop uh, a, an understanding of how to develop NEEM uh, information exchange package documents and so that we can more easily participate in the NEEM processes. We, we want to establish a NEEM health domain. We're in the process of doing that. And we also believe that there is a, um, 
and extension of the work that our Administration for Children and Families has already done in the youth and family services domain into a broader human services context. So focus on, on youth and families is, is certainly their mission, but we think that there are human services that extend beyond you know, that particular context that we can, uh, we can evaluate. And I, I'm not sure that, I didn't see this on the agenda, but I, I, I believe it's still uh, today at 1015, and I will give a shameless plug for our Administration for Children and Families uh, for that presentation. So we are, I said we were in our, our infant stages. We are doing scenario planning and analyzing requirements. Obviously, our Administration for Children and Families is in certain areas is, uh, is down in the, uh, in the phases here. But as an HHS enterprise, you know, we are, we are starting this process, and we consider it, you know, a, a very valuable journey to continue with. And so as we do this, we'll do our scenario planning. Uh, one of the areas that, that you see here is reflected in, in kind of an architectural um, uh, depiction. Uh, clinical quality data collection process, you know, a, a perspective on what should be rather than, than what currently is. And uh, so there's a lot of, uh, of opportunity in, in this area to use electronic health record uh, information or, um, or and the clinical data in that regard to, to provide information in our Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services is, is really em embroiled in that activity uh, currently. So I've, I've given you a perspective on uh, what HHS is doing. I've, um, I've given you some idea of the, I hope, of the value of NEAM and, uh, and of our commitment to, to participate in NEAM. You know, there, it is a tremendous, tremendously important effort. Uh, it's a nationwide effort, and it's a multi-level effort that we cannot uh, allow to go unsupported. So, uh, the only thing I would say is that the, the work of NEAM is advanced because of participation, excuse me again, because of participation from all of us. So we have to participate in that, uh, in that activity. We have to provide our input and perspectives. And so I would encourage everyone, uh, no matter what domain that they operate in, to, to advance this, this cause. And, uh, and with that, I will, do we have questions or?